you've got to think about the heat that's generated doing the resistance welding process. Most of the steels that we're welding reaches 2,700 degrees in order to have that fusion process. Most of the electrodes that are in contact with the material at the bottom of that electrode probably reaches 18 to 1,900 degrees. In fact, on the inside of that electrode probably reaches 8 or 900 degrees. So we must keep that copper electrode cool. That's what the water cooling does. It also cools that surface underneath that electrode. So water cooling is one of the critical components that we need to keep that copper electrode and that material at a constant temperature.